What do you think, Ellie? We're working cattle today, and my motivation is it's not concrete, and it's not cleaning out a grain bin. We get to work cattle outside. That truck squats. That's a heavy piece of equipment right there. Oh, we didn't get far. I'll go shut the water off over here. Okay, so we got two groups that we want to work today. My pasture and then another pasture that's about 30 miles west of here, 25 miles west of here. Last video was the first time we used the AeroQuip healer. We certainly liked many things about it. And the biggest thing was just how they flowed. They just went into that alley and it worked really well. So we're pulling that today. I'm gonna go pick up Jeff and we're gonna grab him in his four wheeler and try to get this done before it gets hot. It's supposed to be touching about 90 degrees, but it's about in the 60s right now. So we're gonna get going, get some work done. Hopefully have a good, healthy, safe day. Uncle Jeff, how many bales do you think are out there? A lot. Ten. A lot. At least ten. Ten. Yeah. He's acting like he didn't want to run. So we're just gonna put this pickup and trailer at the end to make a longer funnel, and then the chase will begin. And there's actually an okay amount of grass up here. I was a little worried. It's been super dry, and the pastures we drove by on the way out just looked terrible. Tabletop is what we call it. Cool tabletop. It's that short little nubbins. Just this part of the world could use a rain, and many others could, and that's a lot of stress to a cattleman's life, so hopefully we get one really soon. Let's be going. Yep, 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 yep. Up. Help. 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 Success. Help. Okay. Good. Well, there's launch on me. <laughs> launch on me.
I got the poo splatter too. Oh, and that was bad as me. No, you you lose. Yeah, you can pour later, Dad. I'll do it now, and once this one runs out, it's your turn. You got it. It's all you. You got it. You can do it. I believe in you. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> Uncle Jeff, what do you think about the new corral so far? Love it. You like it? Yeah, I do. Easier to unfold, yeah. and they seem to go in the gate pretty well. I'm taking four. Do it. I'm taking five. We got one good mama coming back. Where's my baby? Dad's working on three, then we got three left, then we're hopping across the road and we got about 20 more pair to do. Pretty dang well, wouldn't you say, Paul? Very, very good. Good call. Yep. We've come to the conclusion we like the air equip more than our old one. It just folds out so much easier. It picks up so much easier. It looks beautiful. And the cattle seem to enter it a lot more willing. Looks like the owner of this pasture cut up an REA pole and used it for the gate. So we were just in that pasture across the road, and now Dad has 20 pears over here. As far as grass, you know, we got, there's some stuff, I mean, they can eat, it's just brown and they don't like it as much, obviously, as the fresh green stuff. You know, they got food, but we're probably gonna have to wean a little early this year, because they're gonna be running out of food here, maybe a month. Unless we get a big rain, but there's the 10 days looking dry and hot. Bad news. Bad news, bears. I'm good.
Beautiful. Went right in. These calves look nice. Beautiful herd. They look big, healthy. This pasture definitely has more grass than that one. Especially you see all that yellow. It's curly cup gum weed. It's gummy. They don't like it. It takes up a lot of space. This stuff reminds me of Elmer's glue. It smells like it too. It doesn't quite taste like it though. I used to be a fan of Elmer's glue. I really like the taste of it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, by the way, Cole. Yeah. Uh, today's song of the day is Toto. Draw the line. Okay. Or hold the line. Hold the line. Hold the line, not draw the line. Oh, nice. Toto, hold the line. It's sticking in my face so much. Get out of my face. I don't like it. Anymore. One more. Hi, 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 hi. Hi, hi. Okay. I want to re tag that one. So you're asking me you need a BJ. BJ. Alright, there's your BJ, Father. Welcome. The flies are on my pour jug. Everybody, everybody, let's go. Come on. Buddy, where'd all your friends go? Yeah, keep going. You're in. Dad, your calves are better than mine. Yep. I like it. <laughs> well, I'm glad Thanks. mine aren't worse, yeah. I suppose. Hey, I've got a little genetics in mind, don't you know? Uh-huh. What do yours come from? Silburn? <laughs> but some of those cows had so many flies on them I've never seen it like that before but now all those flies are dead we got two groups worked it's lunchtime we're headed to Storla station to get a sandwich and maybe an ice cream someone forgot to secure the sliding gate <laughs> lunchtime are done working in the pasture now they're gonna be working here gonna be doing some weed eating and they got plenty of it that's like eight foot tall kosher you're welcome so a couple videos ago we were mowing some weeds and someone said why are you mowing them sunflowers those are good there's different types of sunflower this is a just a common sunflower it's wild it doesn't have legit seeds in it 
They can pop in your mouth and chew and no eating there. Oh, we got kind of some sad news. This thing's ready to be cleaned off. We're done using it for the year. And we didn't get a third cutting of alfalfa. And I don't remember a time where we didn't get some sort of third cutting. It's just been so dry and hot that it wasn't gonna amount. We were gonna burn more fuel, more dollars in fuel than we were gonna get in hay. So this thing's ready to be cleaned off, put away for the year, and hopefully next year it's a little better going. Um, and honestly, it's gonna be a little tough making it through this winter, especially since yesterday, we actually fed a bale to one of our pastures and they started eating on that like they were hungry. The pastures are getting thin and we're already starting to burn through our winter supply. And so, you know, if we get a rain now, it can still green those pastures up and we can stop feeding our winter hay, but yeah, nothing in the forecast. <laughs> it's pleasant. After that gets dried off, we're just gonna grease it. Some of those pivot spots, pivot points, will have some water in them, and so we wanna push that out with the grease and just have some nice fresh grease in there to sit over winter. We got done what we needed to, and now we're gonna be getting ready for harvest. When I was coming home, my uncle and cousin down the road had their corn head out, so that got me a little jittery. That time's coming, the corn's really drying down, and we got wet corn to do, maybe even next week. Anyway, we'd love to see you next time. Have a good one. Ho, ho, ho. Beef. It's what's for dinner. <laughs>